We are following some breaking news right now. This is an apartment building on fire in Sun Valley. You can see some smoke coming from the roof there. Uh, this is on Lancashire and Stag Street. Now, there were initial reports of people who were burned, but that hasn't been confirmed. Again, you can uh, see that smoke coming from the building there. We have Margaret Stewart from LA City Fire joining us by phone right now. What can you tell us about this fire and are there injuries to report? Hello, yes, unfortunately we do have at least two burn patients right now. Uh, we have not been able to conduct a search of the fire unit. We are almost under, con it's almost under control and nearing a knockdown of that unit and then we'll be able to get in to do a full search. Uh, but this fire was called in at about quarter to noon. It's a four story over parking large, as you can see, center hall apartment building. And the fire was in one unit on the second floor. And your viewers may have been able to see the flames were lapping up um, onto the third floor. So we had firefighters on both floors. And you can see that there are uh, occupants there out on the balcony, um, uninjured, um, but kind of trapped there. So we have firefighters with ground ladders up to those balconies to be able to safely bring them down if needed. Some are just staying there. And then once the fire is extinguished, we you know, be able to safely bring them down through a stairwell. Uh, fortunately, they're making good progress on this, and the fire has been primarily contained to that original unit on the second floor. Okay, and so at this point, the entire building we see here not evacuated, and you did say that there were two patients that were burned. Were they from that actual unit where the fire is, or were they somewhere else? And, and do you know, were they trying to put out the fire or how they were injured? We don't have any details on that right now. You know, we're fully involved in the fight against the fire and then treating and transporting those patients. So those, you know, that information will come out later in the investigation. Due to any kind of burnt injury, um, our arson investigators are responding to investigate that cause. And your crew certainly made quick work out there. The fire only reported uh, about less than 30 minutes ago and they've really almost got it completely knocked out there. But uh, now, when I look at this, Margaret, and I have to, you know, clearly I'm not a firefighter, but when I look at this, I still see a lot of smoke, um, but I know we don't see flames, but that still has to be a, a bit concerning to you to see that smoke, correct? Well, you see the color of the smoke is changed mm -hmm. to white, which means that okay. there's water on the fire. If it was still a dark charged smoke, mm -hmm. then that would indicate that you know, we have not yet been able to get water effectively on it. Um, but the smoke will remain. You know, the, the okay. entire unit's going to be charged with smoke. Once they've extinguished the flames, we take blowers in and we will blow out that smoke. So even after you know, the fire's out, you'll still see the smoke um, being evacuated for building. That just takes time. And there still will be little smoldering pockets that we'll then have to go in. They'll use hand tools to, to dig away, you know, remove parts of the walls and the ceiling so that we can reach every pocket and ensure there's nothing remaining. All right, Margaret Stewart, thank you so much for joining us again. Two people hurt in this apartment fire uh, that broke out at about uh, 1145 this morning. Thank you again, Margaret, for your time. Thank you.